Hey, and welcome back to another video and more specifically a video from my uh, special event resto mod playlist uh, the playlist of videos where uh, occasionally on uh, a special occasion I uh, resto mod an old phone and uh, basically spray paint it to the colors of said uh, occasion and uh, today is the 4th of July so uh, we're doing a Motorola Silver L7 and we'll be painting it in the uh, colors of the American flag which is red white and blue and uh, first of all I'd like to say uh, a happy 4th of July to everyone watching I hope you're having a great time uh, having barbecues fireworks uh, what else hot dogs uh, whatever you're doing honestly beer um, and just having a great time in general don't forget to stock up on all that aforementioned stuff because they run out real fast um, and I'm pretty sure you've already done that by the time you're watching this video but nevertheless happy 4th of July I hope you have a amazing time and a blast um, so what we're gonna do today is uh, like I said resto mod this old phone um, in the colors of the American flag first I got to take it apart and all that stuff and uh, go from there now if you remember I did this video uh, on Christmas this was the Christmas special it was a Motorola V300 where is that thing oh here it is so uh, the Motorola V300 this was the first special video I did uh, in the colors of Christmas uh, uh, white green and red and uh, today we're also doing another Motorola phone uh, but it be white red and blue um, so the criteria of this video uh, had to be uh, th th as follows so uh, it had to be an American manufacturer and um, it had to be a, uh, a phone that was easily paintable as well not a phone that's covered in glass or anything like that because it's not gonna spray the spray paint's not gonna stick now some of you may make the argu argument that uh, Motorola is no longer an American company, it's owned by Lenovo. Yes, that's true, but they were bought in 2014 and in 2012 Google actually bought them first and then sold them to uh, Lenovo in 2014 and uh, that's true. However, at the time of when this phone was released, the Motorola Silver L7, it was released in 2005. So Motorola was still an American company, so this phone still counts um, and um, also uh, it is a really nice nice phone to paint and all that stuff um, I wanted to do the classic of the classic the Motorola uh, Razer V3 uh, a true American phone the uh, one of the greatest icons of uh, American uh, mobile design easily recognizable uh, throughout the world however we already did a flip phone for Christmas so I thought I'll just go ahead with something else and the, the silver L7 gets the job done uh, perfectly it's uh, there's a lot of area to paint on as you can see the uh, back cover there's a lot of area to paint on and when I get rid of this middle half there's still a lot visible on the front there so uh, that also covers the criteria so yeah um, as usual with all the well the, the only previous resto mod video I did uh, firstly we'll be taking this thing apart prepping it for spray painting and I have my uh, spray paint spray paint cans here so we have blue white and red uh, in the colors of the american flag we'll be spray painting uh this thing in those colors i'll be trying to do the flag properly however uh, my spray painting skills aren't the best so i may mess it up a bit it may not look so nice but still you've probably already seen the thumbnail so bear with me i'm getting better at this but uh i'm not that good yet anyway We'll take it apart, we'll prep it for spray painting, uh, then spray it and go from there. Most of this video will be with just music and uh, me uh, doing sort of a fast forwarded lapse of uh, me taking it apart and stuff. We don't want to be uh, dragging this for too long because uh, hey, you don't have time to be on YouTube. You gotta go enjoy yourself outside uh, for the 4th of July celebration. So let's try and make this quick. Either way, before jumping right in, don't forget to smash that like button down below as it helps this video get on YouTube's algorithm and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and ring that bell notification button so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Also don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know what you uh, think of the Motorola L7 Resto mod at the end and also what you're doing for the 4th of July. Uh, do you do, are you doing anything special? Uh, where are you going to celebrate? How are you going to celebrate? Are you just going to go all out? Are you going to keep it more relaxed this year? Or if 
you have any questions regarding this phone or this entire process, leave a question down below or a comment down below. We can start a discussion or I can answer your questions. Uh, my social media is linked down in the description below, which includes Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. Now let's jump right into this video. Also, I almost forgot to mention that, uh, as you can see, this phone is missing its Motorola logo up there. And I did manage to get my hands on some replacement lo logos over here, as you can see. It was like $1.4 for all four of them and with free shipping. So they're really cheap. Uh, they don't really match the size, as you can see there. Uh, but considering how rare these are, I'm just happy to even have uh, some logos here. These were for some different phone, uh, C190 or something like that, uh, different phone. However, they still will get the job done. So. Uh, uh, we can do a proper full resto mod on this phone and replace the missing uh, logo. All right, so let's take this thing apart. And like I said, the majority of this is gonna be fast forward, fast forwarded. So uh, let's get to it. All right, so that was unexpected. So if you didn't catch that uh, in the fast forward, uh, that is the uh, missing uh, Motorola logo uh, that goes there. And it was wedged in the speaker grill at the back there. That is really strange. Um, I noticed there was something wedged in the speaker grill, but I didn't really pay attention to it because I thought it was just some piece of uh, plastic or some something just came out of the speaker uh, broke off and came out of the speaker I didn't expect it to be the original logo as you can see there it is made out of metal and it's it's oh it's not missing a part it's bent we can actually restore that we can put glue on that so uh, I guess these are not gonna be uh, of use, but I can use them for some other phone maybe in the future. But yeah, that's quite interesting. I didn't notice that the Motorola logo was wedged in there uh, in a strange manner. That's probably done by the seller or, or the previous owner. Uh, pretty sure it's the seller. Um, didn't bother uh, pasting that uh, back up again. So it is what it is. Now let's get back to the teardown. So the disassembly portion is over. Now I gotta go uh, shove all of the uh, smaller components in a bag so that they don't get lost. Cause uh, this is a two day process uh, that it takes. Um, and by the way, if you didn't already know, I'm doing this uh, two days before uh, the 4th of July. It's actually the uh, second there cause this is a two day process, but you'll be seeing this on the 4th of July. So regardless, um, I gotta put all of that stuff uh, in a bag and I gotta kind of pseudo put this part or portion back together like that uh yeah that gets the job done so we can somewhat put it back together like that and that's what i will be spray painting 
So yeah, let's go spray paint this and I can uh, sandpaper that part off before pasting back the logo. And uh, I'll go clean this up, set up the spray painting uh, box and uh, get this all uh, covered up in uh, where the areas that I want to start off with. And then we'll go from there. Alright, so as you can see, we have the spray paint box set up. Uh, it's the same box from Christmas as you can see the uh, red, green and white from the previous uh, spray paint job. And I created this small uh, stand like thing out of a uh, USPS box so I can rotate it and uh, spray it on all sides so that it doesn't uh, get, uh, so I don't have to touch it or anything like that. But uh, apart from that, we are ready to start spray painting. Now, of course, before before you spray paint, always use uh, nasal and, uh, pro basically nasal and protection for your mouth as well. Uh, 3M uh, N95 mask, this is the thing I usually use. Um, uh, basically any N95 mask. Uh, ideally, you should be using a P100, but uh, I'm not gonna go pull my P100 mask out of the cupboard now. It's I, I think I have to change the filters and stuff as well. But a N95 mask for basic spray paint uh, applications like uh, canned spray paint should be perfectly fine. However, when you're doing like pressurized, uh, uh, compressed spray paint from a machine, then is only uh, when you should be wearing a P100 mask. But for this job, uh, the N95 mask is more than enough. So we'll be starting off with uh, the blue at the top there. I've covered off the bottom that will be spraying in red and white, but the top will be blue. And um, yeah, so let me go wear the mask and we'll start spraying. All right, so the blue is done. So we'll uh, leave it for about seven hours-ish and then I'll do the white stars. Now, I don't think I can really do stars. I'm trying to carve out a, like, a stencil of stars from duct tape, but I don't think that's gonna go that well. I honestly should have bought like a stencil online. However, for the size of this phone, I couldn't really find a star stencil online. The, the smallest one uh, that was made out of plastic, the stars were like that big is a bit too big um, for this phone size now I can't get all 50 stars on there because it's of course it's a uh, uh, uneven surface and all that stuff but uh, as long as I can get a couple of them in there uh, it'll be fine but uh, I'm most likely uh, and the, the stars are not gonna end up looking that perfect but I'll try to do my best to make the stencil out of duct tape so uh, I'll do that within that seven hours while this thing is drying so see you guys in seven hours All right, so now um, we're gonna do the stars and I, this is actually the second time I'm doing the stars because as you can see, I had to repaint the back. It's not as smooth as it was before. So I had to repaint the back because the white paint, something's wrong with it. It kind of, I don't know, it flows, it like separates, the color separates from the base and it just flows down. There's just too much of it coming from the nozzle and the color is like separating from the base. Sometimes it's okay, as you can see here in the corner, um, but sometimes it's really messed up. And uh, this is last night's stencil I tried doing. Uh, it, that didn't end well because the stencil was crap and 
um, the paint was crap but this stencil is what we'll be using today for the stars and I don't know if this paint is gonna hold but it might just start dripping so the stars are probably gonna end up as dots or just smudges so I apologize for that there's just nothing I can do there's something wrong with the paint and I probably should have got a better stencil like I should have bought one instead of just trying to make one either way I'll wear my mask and uh, let's try spraying this Alright, so it's time to spray the red stripes. Now, as you can see, I've turned the phone upside down. The blue and white, uh, well, the blue and the white uh, stars have somewhat dried. It's been about seven hours since the last part that I showed you. And um, now I have covered up the areas that I'm gonna spray paint white later as the final. Um, but now we're gonna do the red stripes, so let's get to it. all right so we're here at the final touch now um as you can see i've covered the uh, already spray painted parts with the uh masking tape and we're gonna do the final white stripe so uh, let's get to it Alrighty, so as you can see, we have uh, completed the painting process. Uh, the stars, they're okay, they didn't come out as expected, but hey, uh, it was a homemade stencil, so uh, considering it's a homemade stencil, that's kind of decent. Next time I should probably get a proper plastic stencil. Now, like I mentioned earlier, um, the Motorola logo, which was wedged into the speaker, we got a put that back in place and as you can see uh, the metal pins holding it to the frame of the phone are bent so let's bend them back in place and scrape off some of the excess glue and we'll paste it back on the body there now there's paint covering that area so might wanna might wanna grab some um, sandpaper here now my table is a mess you don't see it off on camera but I gotta clean that. Uh, it's full of all the uh, stuff that I use for the spray painting. So let's fold a bit of um, sandpaper here and you know, kind of roughen that area up a bit so the glue sticks. The metal restraints are enough to hold it in place, but let's just put in a bit of glue. Um, but yeah, let's do that and I think that should be sufficient. Let me just uh, do this off camera because it's just sandpapering. All right, that took a lot of uh, wriggling, a bit more than expected, but as you can see, it is now pasted and well seated. I uh, clamped the, uh, or pressed down the uh, two metal uh, prong-like things at the back as well. So now let's just go ahead and put this thing back together. There's a box of parts here. Um, we'll put this thing back together, do it like a sort of uh, fast forward time-lapse like thing, and then I'll show you the end product. So let's go.
this thing, the uh, USB cover uh, fell off early and I forgot to like spray over it, except uh, it's still broken anyway, it just falls off. So I'll just probably put that aside anyway, just keep it open there. Um, we have the battery fully charged there. So let's go ahead and uh, put the case back together. Now it's not gonna snap in that easily because of the paint, it's not the same. However, if you force it enough, it should snap back in place and let us now power this thing on and let's go ahead and take a look at this thing up close So as you saw, the uh, phone is complete and to be honest, it looks much better than I expected. Uh, the white and red lines came out perfectly. It's just the stars at the top that are a bit, uh, you know, smudged and stuff. But hey, it was a homemade stencil, so you really can't expect much from it. But as a whole, I'm really happy with the outcome, uh, considering my spray painting skills aren't the greatest either. So uh, yeah, I'm getting better though. It still does look... Uh, much better than the Christmas special, as you can see, that is way more smudged than this. Uh, so I am getting much better. Yeah, definitely much better than the Christmas special, as you can see there. Um, so yeah, I am getting better as a whole. So in the future, whenever we do another special uh, resto mod, uh, uh, you will definitely see a better paint job on those phones. Uh, I will have to look for uh, some a different form factor. Maybe we'll do uh, a sliding phone next time for whatever the occasion. But um, for now, this was the 4th of July uh, Motorola Silver L7 Resto mod. It came out uh, much better than expected. We put the Motorola logo back in there. Uh, kind of strange that it was hidden in the speaker. Uh, we pasted all the uh, missing glue spots that like the speaker, like I showed you. Some of the uh, glue had to be replaced, but uh, did all of that with the super glue and the phone looks amazing in my opinion. So yeah, I hope uh, you enjoyed this video and of course, uh, happy 4th of July again. I hope you have a blast. I hope uh, you have a great barbecue, a fireworks show or whatever you're doing to celebrate the 4th of July. Uh, I hope you have an amazing time uh, and I hope you enjoyed this video as a whole. Um, this was the 4th of July Resto mod on a Motorola Silver L7 with the uh, American flag. Uh, thanks for watching as usual and if you honestly like this video, don't forget to smash that like button down below as it helps this video get on YouTube's algorithm and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and ring that bell notification button so you are notified whenever I upload a new video. Also don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about this Resto mod. Uh, do, you, uh, do you have any suggestions for an upcoming uh, special location uh, let me know down in the comment section if you'd like me to cover a uh, special location whatever it may be i'm just usually familiar with the 4th of july and then christmas and um yeah that's probably it that's all i've done for now but uh, let me know down in the comment section below uh, if there's anything else you'd like me to cover in a resto mod video like this uh, also uh, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about this one um, leave a question if you have any questions down below we can start a discussion or i can answer your questions questions. My social media is linked down in the description below, which includes Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. Thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video.